foremost, if I was him, I'm just telling you what I would be doing, I'd be fasting yeah. for a couple of days and then starting to reintroduce foods uh, to resensitize the body to these foods or resensitize his perception. In other words, he'll notice things more. If he's eating the same foods over and over and over again, he may not be noticing the effects those specific foods are having on his specific symptoms. But if he stops eating for a couple of days, then reintroduces those foods, that's going to resensitize his awareness or his per perception to what the foods are doing to his body. Does that make sense? You do it over yeah, and over. I heard you talk about that, but I heard you also say we needed to drink something while we're doing that. Water, a couple of days. For your, for your husband, uh, at age of 48 with Crohn's disease. And by the way, for the listeners, you can't imagine anything more miserable to have to go through than Crohn's disease, uh, where you're always looking for a bathroom, where you're, you, you've got diarrhea all the time and cramping and bloating and pain. And it's just the most, I can't think of a more miserable curse to have to deal with on a regular basis. That's for the listeners. I'm, I'm sure you, you understand what I'm talking about here. So uh, you want stopping, as soon as he stops eating, he's going to immediately, the healing process will immediately kick in. All right, even between meals, the healing process will kick in. But if he stops eating for a couple of days, then he's going to get some good healing. At least it'll begin. Then you start to reintroduce foods. Now, if he wants to use do the swear of cleanse, that can kind of get him through uh, the fasting procedure. If he finds it difficult to fast, uh, do six cat, uh, six bottles a day, a bottle every half hour, uh, six bottles a day, and that'd be uh, twelve, uh, six bottles a day if it's a twelve-hour day, a bottle every half hour, and that'll get him through two or three days of fasting. Then he reintroduces a bottle of water. A bottle no, of swear of water. a v, swear of v. Oh. It's a it's a swear of v. It's a uh, beyond organic product that you'll find on my website. It's called swear of v. I just completed a three-day fast Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, of last week, and it was a breeze. It was super okay. easy using the swear of v. Okay. Uh, so that's okay. first of all. Now, if he if he fasts for two or three days, he's going to find immediate relief. Immediate relief. That alone is going to make a huge difference. Now, once he starts, the Crohn's people are afraid of that. Doesn't matter if he's afraid of it. Does he? Is he afraid of Crohn's? You know, which is better? <laughs> which is better? Well, you to... don't know when you're sick. You don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, this is my advice. this is my recommendation. He can do whatever he okay. wants. Okay. My recommendation is he doesn't put anything in the system. Think about it this way: you're constantly bombarding the system with foods, the intestine with foods, and Crohn's disease is an intestinal issue. You're constantly putting foods in. When does the when does the intestine have a chance to recover? Never. I've Never. Been telling him this. I've exactly. Been him that. Exactly. So we got to give him. Afraid. Well, I can't help him with that. I'm not a hypnotist. You know, I can't help him with his fear. I can only give you uh, uh, some recommendations for nutrition and food. If he's afraid, he's afraid. Right. God love him. Right. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. Right. So anyway, and this is not just for you, by the way. It's for anybody listening who has Crohn's issues. It's very simple. This is the bottom line. It's an eating disorder. Stop eating. The disorder will improve. Now, you obviously have to keep eating. You, you can't eat, not eat forever. But if you stop eating for a little bit, a couple of days, three days, and if you fast one day a week or two days a week, it's not going to hurt you and your body will have a chance to recover. The liquid portion is the liquid part which you alluded to is very important because if he can spend more of his calories or, or get more of his calories from liquid nutrients that also is going to reduce the load on the digestive tract this is what we're doing here we're reducing the burden you see what I'm saying we're reducing yeah. the load on the digestive tract where yeah. picture your picture his intestine as a baby who's been traumatized a baby who's been a, a World War two baby you know you ever you ever watch these old documentaries on World War two you'll see little kids Kids and they've been traumatized the rest of their life. They spent their yeah. whole life traumatized. That's what your husband's intestine is like. It's like a baby exactly. who's traumatized. So what do you do exactly. when a baby's traumatized? You cuddle it. You nurture it. You love it. You reduce all the stresses and burdens from the baby so the baby can calm down. Well, your yeah. husband's intestine is like a baby. It needs to be calmed down. Uh, the next thing, important thing is fermented foods and probiotics. I'd be using the, it sounds, like you're, sounds like you're already doing that. Uh, if he's not on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, though, you might want to try that one. Uh, that's my favorite probiotic, three caps capsules in the morning, three at night. If he's not on the Fucoidin Z, it's a must-have for Crohn's disease, okay? Coats, okay wait a minute. Z. What Fucoidin Z. Fucoidin Z. I'll spell it for you, okay? I'll spell it. It's F as in Frank, U as in Uncle, C as in Cat, O as in Oscar, I as in Igloo, D as in David, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, Z, fucoidin Z. It's made, right. It's made with brown algae, which contains fucoidin, which has a wonderful stimulating effect on the cells of the intestine. It can help accelerate healing. It also has a nice coating effect on the digestive system, and that'll help uh, uh, soothe and improve the functioning uh, and, and the health of the digestive tract. And along those same lines, aloe vera and noni can also help. You can get some noni juice off uh, 
off my website at brightsideben.com. You can use aloe juice as well. Both of those have a nice coating and soothing effect. Uh, central fatty acids, EFAs, mega important for digestive health, especially the health of the intestine. Uh, he should be using nine capsules a day. If he has a problem absorbing his essential fatty acids, then uh, have him use those with digestive enzymes. The ultimate enzymes are a good digestive enzyme. And always wash down your ultimate enzymes with apple cider vinegar. Anything he could do to pre-digest his food, and by that I mean grinding them up in a blender or a food processor or using smoothies. Uh, also, bone soup has a wonderful effect on the digestive tract as well. Basically, you're taking it easy on the digestive system. Last but not least, the Healthy Star Pack. Sipping, and that's very important for people with Crohn's disease, sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, not trying to do it all at once. If he notices, and sometimes people with Crohn's disease will notice that they have bile issues or, or problems absorbing fatty substances, then he's going to want to use some lecithin with all his meals, as well as perhaps some bile salts. And I mentioned it once, but I'll say it again. Uh, make sure he's using some apple cider vinegar after all his meals as well. Basically, you're taking the load or the burden off of his intestine, allowing his intestine to heal and recover, and using nutrients that help soothe the intestine, as well as improve the production or the health of the cells of the intestine. One last thing, I know I gave you a lot of information, but one last thing, glutamine powder. Glutamine is like fuel for enterocytes. Enterocytes is the fancy way of saying digestive cells or intestinal cells. And glutamine powder functions specifically as fuel, as gasoline, as energy, uh, as food, as nutrition, specifically for the cells of the intestine. So maybe a half a teaspoonful to a teaspoonful of glutamine glutamine powder, stir it up in water, and drink it once a day. That alone can make a huge difference for digestive health issues. And, and by the way, that's no, by no means comprehensive, even though I gave you a ton of information. There's lots more you can do, but that's a great start for you, okay? Thanks for well, calling. A lot, of this, a lot of this that I have been doing, been running down his food and stuff, you know, making yeah. his digestive tract not have to work so hard, uh, and giving him regular foods, easy to digest foods, that kind any of Any improving? Stuff. Any? Are you noticing that it's helping his symptoms? That's the key. Oh, it, uh, oh, it, it is, but I... I still need, to get his intestinal flora back, and I'm not sure how to do that other than what you just said. Get a book I called the Symptoms Down. I get have a, symptoms down. Hang on, Sherry. I got to go. We're running out of time, but let me tell you one last thing. Get a book called The Art of Fermentation. The Art of Fermentation. It's a wonderful cookbook with lots of great recipes. It's really easy to understand, easy to use, and it can give you some great ideas for fermented foods. Making your own fermented foods. The Art of Fermentation. Um, thanks for your call. It's all the time we have. I apologize for that, Sherry, and I apologize if we left you on hold, but you got to call in early on the bright side uh, so we can get to all your calls. Anyway, thanks for listening. Tomorrow we'll finish up on our uh, talk on prostaglandins. We'll talk about a couple other nutrients that are important for helping prostaglandins work effectively. If you have an autoimmune disease especially, these can be important. Thanks for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.